Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we have got these three rectangles. As you can see in this figure, the area of this green and purple rectangles are given to us. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, yellow rectangle. And in this video tutorial, I will share with you two different methods. The second method especially is going to be a lot simpler. So I would recommend you to watch this video till the very end. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first method. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this, our yellow rectangle in the middle. Let me go ahead and call this length of this yellow rectangle as an x and the width of this one or the breadth is going to be y then the width of all these rectangles is going to be y as well this is y this is y and this is y as well and moreover this total length is seven we know that this is seven and this is x so this length is going to be simply 7 minus x and likewise the length of this part is 8 units and we know that this one is x so this side length is going to be simply 8 minus x and here's our next step. Let's focus on this green rectangle. And we want to calculate the area of this green rectangle. And here's the area of a rectangle formula. Area equals to length time width. In our case, our length of this green rectangle is 7 minus x. And the width is y. Now here is our area formula. Area in our case for this green rectangle is 28. I'm going to replace that one by 28. Length in our case is 7 minus x. Let's replace that one 7 minus x time width in our case is y. And now let's go ahead and distribute this one over here. So we're going to have a 28 equal to 7y minus xy let's go ahead and move this negative xy on the left hand side and 20 on the right hand side so that means we are going to get xy equal to 7y minus 28 now let me go ahead and call this equation number one and in this next step, let's focus on this purple rectangle and we are going to calculate the area of this purple rectangle. And here's the area formula for the, this rectangle. Area equals to length time width. In our case, length is 8 minus x and the width is y. And we know the area of this purple rectangle is 35. Let's go ahead and replace that one by 35 equal to 8 minus x times y. Now let's go ahead and distribute this one. So we are going to get 35 equal to 8y minus xy. Let's move this xy on the left hand side and 35 on the right hand side. So that means our xy is going to be equal to 8y minus 35. And now let me go ahead and call this equation number 2. Now let's compare equations 1 and 2. And as you can see on the left hand side they are same. So we can equate the right hand side. I can write this one 8y minus 35 equal to 7y minus 28. Let's move this 7y on the left hand side and negative 35 on the right hand side. So we got 8y minus 7y equal to negative 28 plus 35. So therefore our y value turns out to be 7. Now we are going to calculate the value of x as we figured out our y value which is 7. 
And now let's recall this area of this green rectangle from our previous step 7 minus x times y equals to 28. And now let's go ahead and replace this y equal to 7 value in this equation. So we get 7 minus x times 7 equal to 28. Now let's solve for x and first we're going to divide both sides by 7. So our this 7 and 7 is gone. So we got 7 minus x turns out to be 4. Now let's go ahead and subtract 7 from both sides. They are gone. So we got negative x equal to negative 3. So that means our x value turns out to be positive 3. Here is our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this yellow rectangle. Here is our area formula length time width in our case length is 3 and width is 7. So area equal to 3 times 7 means area turns out to be 21. So thus the area of this yellow rectangle turns out to be 21 square units. And now let me show you the second method to calculate the area of this yellow rectangle and here's the very first thing I'm going to do. Let's suppose that the area of this yellow rectangle is A. And now let's focus on this yellow and green region combined, the one that I shaded it. Now let's assume that this length of this region is x which is 7 and the width is y. So the area of this combined region is going to be 28 plus a, isn't it? So I can write 28 plus a equals to length in our case is 7 and width is y so that is going to become 7 y let me go ahead and call this equation a number three and in this next step let's focus on this region yellow and purple combined as you can see over here i'm going to call this length of this shaded region as x which is going to be 8 and the width I'm going to call y. Then the area of this yellow and purple region combined is going to be a plus 35 isn't it? So I'm going to write down a plus 35 equal to length in our case is 8 and width is y so I can write down 8 y and now let me go ahead and call this equation number four and now let's go ahead and subtract equation three from equation four and here are our equation three and four let's go ahead and subtract so i'm going to change the sign of this equation three make all negative signs and we can see that this negative a and positive a is gone so we ended up with 35 minus 28 is going to give us 7 equal to 8y minus 7y equals to y. So thus our y value turns out to be 7. Now let's go ahead and substitute y equal to 7 value in equation 3. And here's our equation 3. Let's go ahead and substitute y value. So we got 28 plus a equal to 7 times y is 7 so 28 plus a equal to 49 let's move this 28 on the other side a equal to 49 minus 28 so a turns out to be 21 and we know that this a represents the area of this yellow rectangle so thus the area of this yellow rectangle turns out to be 21 square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye